Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So one more small topic I'm going to cover with respect to PyTest today that we can create one configuration test file at the global level and the same configuration test file can be used for all the PyTest fixtures and the same PyTest fixtures can be used throughout your test classes for the different test methods. So how to do this, right? So let's see, I'll give you first a basic demo that uh, with a simple basic example. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new, let's see, directory over here in my current Selenium demo project. I simply say that, uh, let's see, PyTest uh, rough work, okay? Underscore rough, uh, let's see, PyTest rough like that. And under this particular PyTest rough, what you do, you create one Python file and make sure you are giving the Python file name is conf test. Do not give any other name simple, right? Conf test means configuration test dot py5 will be created over here. And you do one thing, you simply, let's see, I'm importing one PyTest first. And uh, what you do, you create a method over here, let's see, uh, whatever the method, let's say I'm going to create one input total method. In this particular input total, this is the method, and I'm going to pass one variable, let's see, total is equal to 100, okay? And then I'm going to return this particular total from here. And this method will behave like a fixture for me, so I simply write pytest.fixture. That's it, I'm not going to define any module or nothing, this is at the configuration level, so pytest.fixture, I'm going to use it now. Now what I'm gonna do that, uh, this input total now you can use okay with the okay for the different test classes so what i'm going to do that in this particular directory i'm going to create one python file let's see my python file is uh, i simply write let's see test okay and uh, rough one something like this click on okay and i'm going to create one more Python file, let's see, test rough two. This is just my rough work, okay? And inside the rough one, I'm going to, first of all, let's see, import PyTest over here. And I'm going to create my test cases directly over here. So I simply write test underscore that whatever the total amount, right? The total is, let's see, uh, division underscore by underscore uh, five, it is divisible by five or not. Now here, what you have to do guys, now in this particular bracket, what you can do, whatever the confidence.py, that fixture that you have written input underscore total, you can pass this particular fixture over here. It means this particular, see, if you press, see once again, you press control or command from your Mac machine, I mean Mac laptop, and then click on it, you're reaching over here. It means I can use this particular fixture method Okay, in my test and this fixture method is giving you what? It's giving you total is equal to 100. Now I can use that particular input value that okay, input total, whatever you are getting. I simply write one assertion over here that okay, if input total is a divisible by five is equal to equal to zero, it means my test is pass. Simple. So I'm just going to create one more test over here. Uh, let's see. If it is a divisible by uh, 10, okay. So this is divisible by 10 is equal to equal to zero. And then I'm going to write, let's see one more test over here. Okay, if it is uh, divisible by nine, okay. Nine is equal to equal to zero. Like that, so three tests I have written. One, two, and three tests, let's see, I have written. Now similarly, what I'm going to do that I'm going to create uh, this rough test too and do one thing let me just copy these two methods over here first you import by test right and copy paste and let's see here I'm writing divisible by six or uh, let's see here I'm writing divisible by uh, 15 so here I'm writing six and here I'm writing uh, divisible by 15 is equal to equal to zero Simple, four methods guys I have created, sorry, two plus three, five methods I have created. And all these five methods are taking the input from where? From conf test.py. 
right so, and now i'll do one thing right click on this particular uh, directory and uh, go to open in terminal so i'm going to execute my test directly from here so i'll simply write pytest minus k if you really want to take your identifier so i can simply say that okay execute my rough okay or it's not rough exactly let's see, execute my division test cases so i simple remember this identifier or you can directly execute the respective class name also that's not an issue um, divisional and minus verbose i don't know okay i want to use and uh, let's see okay it's saying zero one second let me fight this minus or i'll do one thing let me execute the entire uh, Okay, this. Okay, let me just by test. Let's run it. First of all, test rough one dot py. I'm going to execute, and let's see how many test cases are getting executed. You can see that two test cases got passed and one got failed. Obviously, because uh, this will be failed because the input parameter that we are passing that is hundred, which is not divisible by nine completely, but it divisible by five and ten. So that's why it's giving you assertion error over here, but that's okay, right guys? So you can see that, okay, you can execute and you can take, right, your fixture of value directly from this particular file, conf test.py. Now what I'm gonna do that, uh, let me clear the console and um, let's do one thing just a second. Um, let's run it again. Okay, I think it's not collecting with this minus K. I'll do one thing. Let's run the second one once again. Test2.py. See, with test2.py also one and both are getting failed because 100 is not completely divisible by six and 15, right? So I'll do one thing. I'll just change the parameter to uh, 90 now. Let's see, which is divisible by six also and divisible by uh, 15 also. So let's see it is working or not. So in this case, two test cases got passed. Perfect, so you got the idea, right? This is a simple example, guys, right? Now, what I'm gonna do, you remember in the last session, I told you that we have already covered one, uh, this particular file, let's see, with the parameters. And here we have defined one fixture over here. So can I move this particular fixture to confdest.py file? I can do it, right? So I'll do one thing that this conf test.py file I've already created. Can you see that? See, it's written over here in this particular directory. And I have moved that particular fixture over here now. Okay. Now, this particular fixture can be used for all the Selenium test classes now. It will behave like a global precondition for all the test classes. It will behave like a fixture for all the test classes. And now, what I'm going to do that uh, I'm going to this particular fixture and then I'm going to comment it out from this particular class and what is the fixture name the fixture name will remain same that is your initialized driver which is coming from where which is coming from conf test.py this is my fixture name okay so remember this thing you just need to use the fixture name over here that's it and the rest of the things will remain same over here so let's see it is uh, working or not so I'm going to execute right click on it and run this particular class and uh, let's see it is working or not so two test cases should be executed one is for uh, uh, google chrome and another one is for firefox so chrome is fine and you can see that uh, firefox is also launching and perfectly working fine and two test cases got okay four test cases got executed because we have written two test cases over here so two plus two is equal to four some of them having some assertion error because uh, it's saying that okay assertion error is not equal to this we are getting a google.com not the exact current url like that but whatever we are not bothered about the assertion error if you convert that again into google.com it will start working so this is just an assertion but you can see that or i'll do one thing let me just uh, comment it out this particular test i don't want to uh, execute this one now let's run it again and now let's run from the command line okay so let's uh, one second Let's go to the terminal and clear the console. And uh, what I'm going to do that uh, I'm going to 
go to the previous directory in selenium demo and then i'll go to my pytest uh, sessions and here i'm going to execute this particular file and the file name is test underscore fixer underscore params all right this example we have already seen that test underscore fixture underscore params dot py minus v and if you really want to execute in the parallel mode let's run it in two parallel mode with two browsers and uh, let's see so you can see that okay chrome and firefox both are running together you can see perfect and uh, test cases are absolutely getting executed and two test cases got passed because we have only one test right now right guys so this is absolutely working fine and let's run it in the with hyphen hyphen html is equal to i simply say that okay some html file i want to generate i simply say that okay conf test dot html okay so this is a report or i would say contest underscore report dot html let's see this <clears throat> html is getting generated or not so you can and see that okay two test cases are getting executed one is for chrome one is for firefox and uh, both are getting executed perfect and we will go to our <clears throat> pie chart. you can see two test cases got passed and you can see this report getting getting generated and copy the path and uh, let's paste yeah. it over here can you see that two test cases are absolutely working fine at 11th of august in 11 o'clock in the morning that we executed over here perfect so this is a very good feature is available guys again i'll repeat quickly just to give you a recap that conf test.py you just need to create make sure you are not changing the file name the exact file name you have to do that and you can create multiple fixtures over here same thing you can write one more fixture over here for some other purpose initialize driver initialize chrome or whatever if you really want to execute and you just need to use the same uh, fixture method name in your test classes with your test method over here right so you can see that okay this is my base test and here i'm using this particular fixture over here and the same test google class is extending base test it means this is a child of base test and here i'm writing my test cases so you don't need to change your test over here you just you define like that so you can create one global precondition with the help of configuration test.py it means conf test test.py this is like amazing feature is available in uh, pytest okay so that's just a, a small chapter i really wanted to cover thank you so much thanks for watching this particular video if you really like pytest series guys please click on subscribe button share with others it's something very interesting thing that we are uh, covering and a lot of things new things are coming with respect to page object model in future so please share with others comment and like if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much.